Okay, in uh, part two on the pH scale, what I want to do in this case is go into more detail about how the scale works. To, um, in order to summarize what we did uh, in the first video, let's just run through the basics. All right, so the pH scale represents the acidity of a solution versus its basicity. The, the key thing to remember is that the scale is based on uh, dissolving an acid or a base into liquid water to make a solution. In the middle of the scale where the pH is 7, the pH of uh, water at that point is governed by this chemical reaction that I have uh, indicated here at, uh, on, at the bottom of the screen where water can self-ionize into H3O plus and OH minus. The key thing to remember here is that uh, when you look at the coefficients, the formation of, of hydronium or H3O plus and OH minus uh, happens in a one-to-one -one ratio. So the concentration uh, of pure water, the concentration of, of H3O plus in pure water is equal to the concentration of um, hydroxide. And that concentration is uh, 1 times 10 uh, to the minus seventh molar. Now, pH 7, we, we arrive at pH 7 because we can take minus the log of this value. And that gives us the center of the scale. All right, and remember that, that this issue right here, this relationship that I'm describing right here, is the basis of uh, this equation where we have uh, the ionization constant, which is 1 times 10 to the minus 14th, and it's equal to the product or the multiplication of the concentrations of H3O plus and OH minus in a solution where, where you either have not added acid or base or in the situation where you've added some acid or you've added some base. So this product, uh, this product always has to equal 1 times 10 to the minus 14th as long as we're at a fixed temperature, which happens to be um, at uh, 25 degrees centigrade. All right, now, uh, what I want to focus on is the logarithmic aspect of this scale. And I have listed for us from the previous video how the acidity versus the basicity works. So as we move from 7 towards a, a pH is 0, and remember that the zero point on this scale is established by a strong acid which is one molar in concentration and the uh, the this end the basic end of of the pH scale is where we have pH 14 is determined by a one molar solution of of NaOH okay now because this is logarithmic what this means is that there is a tenfold difference in, in H3O plus between any of the units. So at pH zero, we're starting with a one molar solution of, uh, of some kind of, of strong acid. And, and when we move to a pH of one, we have uh, a, a situation where there is 10 times difference in concentration of, of H3O plus. And what has actually happened is there has been a decrease. So we've gone from one molar literally to a 0.1 molar solution of H3O plus, or another way of looking at this is, would be 10 to the minus one. And by the same token, as we go from zero to two, to a pH of two, um, in the case of pH two, we're at a, a molarity of 0.01 molar H3O plus, or another way of looking at this would be we're at 10 to the minus second molarity. Similarly, when we move to pH 3, we're at 10 to the minus 3 molarity. Now, as we decrease going in, in uh, the direction from 0 towards 7 in H3O plus, we're actually increasing as we move along the scale from left to right in the concentration of hydroxide. So to put some perspective on this, at pH zero, 
All right, at pH zero, we have uh, 10 to the minus 14th molar in hydroxide, all right? Molarity hydroxide. And when we go from zero to one, where the H3O plus is actually 0.1 molar, the concentration of hydroxide here, C, is 10 to the minus 13th molar. And when we go to two, where the concentration of H3O plus is 0.01 molar, the, the, uh, of the H3O plus, the concentration of the base now, OH minus, has moved to, to 10 to the minus 12th. And then at the point where we're at pH 3, where the concentration of uh, hydronium is 0.001 molar in H3O plus, uh, the, hy the hydroxide concentration has dropped to 10, or it has, excuse me, I'm sorry, it has increased to 10 to the minus 11. So you can see the hydroxide is increasing as we go left to right across here by a factor of 10 as well as we move from one pH unit to the next. Now, when we get to pH 4, the trend continues. So here we're going to have 10 to the minus 4th molar in H3O+. Plus. Similarly, the hydroxide will have gained by another step of 10, and it will be at 10 to the minus 10 molar. When we get to pH 5, the concentration of H3O plus now is going to be 10 to the minus 5th. So it's steadily decreasing by a factor of 10 each time we move from one unit to the next. And then we see for the hydroxide that it has increased uh, to 10 to the uh, minus 9th here. And then for pH 6, we're at 10 to the minus 6. And for the hydroxide, we're at 10 to the minus 8th. And at pH 7, both are equivalent, as I've already um, spoken about. So the, the concentration of both uh, ions is 1 times 10 to the minus 7th. Now, when we move to pH 8, the concentration of your H3O plus is 10 to the minus 8th. The concentration of the base now is going to be 10 to the minus 6th. And you can see when we add the two exponents together, we're always going to end up with this magic number 14. Because the thing you need to remember is the pH plus the pOH has to equal 14. Or an, an additional way to look at it is that this product is always constant at 1 times 10 to the minus 14th. So we move from pH 8 to pH 9, and the concentration of the uh, hydronium is now going to be 10 to the minus 9th. And the concentration of the base is going to increase again by a factor of 10 to 10 to the minus 5th. 5 and 9 is 14. All right. And when we get to pH 10, we're at 10 to the minus 10th for the molarity of the H3O+. Plus. And for the base, we're going to be at 10 to the minus uh, fourth. So the base has increased, the hydronium has decreased, and similarly we'll, we can just keep moving. So at pH 11 we're going to be at 10 to the minus 11th for the molarity of the H3O plus, and for the base we're going to be at 10 to the minus third, or 0 0.001. At pH 12 we're going to be 10 to the minus uh, 12th for the H3O plus, and the hydroxide now is literally going to be 0.01 molar. And when we get to pH uh, 13, like I listed here in the previous video, we're at 1 times 10 to the minus 13 molar molarity H3O plus, and uh, we're going to be at 10 to the minus 1 in the hydroxide concentration. And then we move to pH 14, and it's at this point you see that the hydronium is 1 times 10 to the minus uh, 14th and the concentration of base is one molar as I've indicated here. So um, this shows the relationship between the H3O plus and the OH minus. And again, I want to remind you that the, the vast majority of uh, laboratory experiments uh, occur in situations where you're at a pH between zero and 14. And almost all biological processes are going to be happening, for example, uh, in a range uh, approximately from um, 6 uh, to uh, about 
nine, depending on the organism. With humans, we're, get, we're bracketed essentially right around the seven area here. All right, and when I go, when I say that for uh, in biological systems between six and nine, I'm talking about you know the extremophiles, the kinds of, of uh, things that are growing in, in hot springs or down by um, the ocean vents and things like that. There can be uh, more extreme uh, pH ranges uh, than than we have for most terrestrial animals, which are going to be in this range here around seven. So, um, all right. And I think with that, I'm going to finish uh, or close the video.